Hey everyone, it's so good to have this opportunity to spend some time with you. I wish we were in the same place. I wish we could all be on campus together as if everything was normal. It doesn't feel like it was all that long ago that we were in the gathering together, but we're doing our best to adjust to this new season and I'm excited to have the chance to share with you just a little bit. Like I said, it doesn't feel like it was that long ago that we were together in the gathering. Not that long ago, we prayed together in the gathering for those who were deeply affected by the Middle Tennessee tornadoes. Later on that Tuesday, I had the opportunity to spend some time with some of my local church community. Uh, we prepared some meals and we were taking those meals to a distribution center. And as we were driving, one of my friends, Jake, was in the car with me, sitting in the passenger seat. And I was so focused and intent on our task at hand, on what I was responsible for. I was so focused on the road with my hands on the wheel that I couldn't really see much else that was going on. But luckily I had Jake in the car with me. And Jake had his eyes open, peering around at everything else that was going on around us, looking at the sidewalks that we were passing, so that as we approached the intersection of 8th Avenue and Wedgwood, Jake had the eyes to see a man who was standing on the side of the road. And Jake asked me, I, I wonder if that guy could, could use one of these meals. I said, I, I, I'm not really sure. J Jake encouraged me to pull over and we parked in a parking lot. And Jake got one of the meals. He walked over to the man. He shook his hand, looked him in the eye. He asked him his name, he handed him the meal, and he said a prayer for him. And we got back in the car and we went and delivered the rest of the meals. It reminds me of several moments throughout the Gospels where the Gospel authors will describe how Jesus is on his way to some place, and it's usually somewhere very important. He's off to fulfill some important responsibility or to accomplish some important duty. But there are all these moments that while Jesus is on his way, he encounters someone or a group of people who are in need of grace and of kindness and of mercy. And in those moments, Jesus inevitably stops. He looks them in the eye. He extends to them love, grace, kindness, generosity, mercy. He goes out of his way to notice the people who are on his way. It occurs to me that in this season, we have all sorts of tasks that we have to perform, responsibilities we have to uphold. But I think we also have opportunities to extend grace, kindness, and generosity at the border of our responsibility or our social expectations. But to catch those chances, we're going to need eyes that are like Jake's, eyes that are like Jesus, eyes that look beyond ourselves, beyond our responsibilities, beyond social expectations. Eyes that peer with intentionality, with creativity, with expectation, so that no one who is suddenly without a home, no one who is on the streets, no one who is in a nursing home or caring for a loved one, or serving on the front line of the virus, or unexpectedly unemployed, or alone in isolation, or immunocompromised, that no one goes unseen. Not after a tornado, and not during a pandemic. My, my prayer for myself, my prayer for all of us, now and after our lives go back to normal, is that God would give us the eyes to see beyond our responsibilities, beyond what is expected of us, that God would give us the eyes of his son, Jesus. Let me say that prayer for you today. God, we are so grateful for the stories that fill your scriptures of a savior who walked among us, who walked with purpose and responsibility, and yet never missed an opportunity to look and notice people who were in need of grace, kindness, and generosity. God, we pray 
the eyes of your son, Jesus? Would you give us all sorts of creativity during this season? Even as we are physically isolated, would you give us opportunities to love as you love, to serve as you serve? That's our prayer. It's in your son's name that we pray and give thanks.